Hey, what's going on, Swifters? It's Chimmy Swift here, and welcome to a witchery modded Minecraft video. I am so excited to be making this video here uh, today for you guys. So I was taking a look at the witchery mod the other day. I was feeling a little, little nostalgic. I was thinking about Attack of the B Team, and I was like, I wonder if the witchery mod and my friend Eminif, who's been developing it, is continuing to develop it and continuing to work on it and add new things and everything. And the answer was yes. I went to the website and very, very quickly found out that there have been quite a few updates, um, you know, since like Attack of the B Team ended and sort of like my last, um, you know, hands-on experience with the Witchery mod. So the one thing I wanted to cover in today's video, as you can see from the title, is the brand new Werewolf update. So this is update 0.22. Um, so it hasn't obviously hit like, you know, version one yet or anything, but um, it's version 0.22 and that is added werewolves into the witchery mod. So um, we're going to be doing 60 frames a second today. It's going to be lovely looking. Uh, <laughs> so I've set up some things. Um, it has taken me quite a while to sort of like relearn um, or not, not necessarily relearn. Like I remember all the how to do all the stuff, uh, the basic stuff in Witchery. But basically, just I had to go through Creative and set myself up so that I could show you guys the stuff that I wanted to show you today. Because a lot of the stuff is sort of you know end game or a little bit farther down the line in the Witchery mod. Uh, if you're someone that's new to my channel and you haven't seen like the Witchery mod in action before, I will link down below in the um, the description of this video a uh, a modded series that I did last year called Attack of the B Team. And in that mod pack was the witchery mod and I pretty much did absolutely everything in that mod, no demand. So uh, if you want to check that out and you're interested in that, if this if this video whets your appetite a little bit, feel free to go check that out. So the first thing I want to show you guys today is a brand new plant. Well, actually, I want to show you my familiar uh, named Piyawakit. <laughs> I don't know. Piyawakit. No, Piyawakit. I don't really know. How do you how would you pronounce it? I don't really know. Anyways, <laughs> so moving right along here, we have a brand new plant called the Wolfsbane. Now, um, to get these seeds, uh, let me show you here, the Wolfsbane seeds. To get these Wolfsbane, Wolfsbane seeds, that is a mouthful, you basically just punch, I'm in creative mode, so it's not gonna happen, but you basically just punch grass like this, and you're gonna get a bunch of different types of seeds in the Witchery mod. You know, you're gonna get your Mandrake seeds, your Belladonna seeds, um, the uh, your Snowbell um, seeds and stuff like that, but you also get these Wolfsbane seeds. And if you plant them, um, you know, just normal farming near some water, they will grow up nicely into these little um, plants called wolfsbane. Now, they're used for some of the wolfsbane when harvested is used for cer certain potions and things like that. But it also has a really fun other use, and that is detecting whether or not a villager is actually a man, just like a normal human, or if he's a lycanthrope or a werewolf. So I'm going to show you guys that today. So we have here a normal villager and this villager egg is for a werewolf villager. So um, basically how this works is, uh, let me show you really quick. Uh, I hope he doesn't kill that guy. But basically, so this is, this. he's going to look different to you if you're not familiar with the witchery mod. This guy's going to look different to you right off the bat. But this is basically just a, um, he's a, oh, I forget what they're called, but he's a special mod, uh, a special villager, type of villager that comes with the um, witchery mod. Like he does everything a villager does except he just sells witchery items. Um, I forget what I forget what they're called. Oh, apothecary. Yes, they're called an apothecary. That's right. I totally remembered. Um, so check this out. If I go to night, what's going to happen at night is that you'll see this guy just changed and he is now a werewolf. And of course, I knew it. I knew he was going to come attack this villager here. And of course, he's, they're very hostile. They're going to they're going to kill him and yada, yada, yada. So this is a werewolf villager. Um, he is infected with lycanthropy. So now if we go back to uh, daytime, you'll see that he'll just change back. There we go. He'll change back to a normal apothecary. Now, this guy could be, he could be an apothecary. He could be a farming villager. He could be a blacksmith. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's just random. Um, so I'm going to kill him. Um, and I'm going to try out something. So you can supposedly take Wolf's Bane and actually, I think maybe right click on the villagers and it'll tell you if they are a, uh, a lycanthrope or werewolf or if they are a normal just human villager mob. So let's try this out. Um, let me see here. Aha! So, that answers my question. So if you shift and then right click, I think you just heard a howl too. That, that was a howling sound. <laughs> um, so if you right click on a normal villager, uh, shift right click with the wolf spin in your hand. 
you're gonna hear that little like Doo! sound. That means that he's not a werewolf. If it is, you'll see the little fire effects like that and it'll give a nice little howl. So that's a nice way of, uh, an easy way for you to tell if um, a villager in a town that you find is actually a werewolf. Chicken, get out of here, this isn't your party, bro. Get out. Okay, so moving right along, uh, let me put this stuff back in here because we're not gonna need it. We'll put the chicken in there, I don't even care. Um, all right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys are some new heads. And these are mob heads. There are a wolf head and then a hellhound head. Now, hellhounds are new mobs and they spawn in the nether and they spawn in packs and they're really, really vicious and there's a percent chance that when they bite you, that you'll get set on fire. So I'm gonna show you guys just what they look like. So they're basically like really angry flaming red wolves and um, they're pissed. They're pissed all the time. They are super mad and you gotta watch out. So they roam in packs in the nether, um, but when you kill them, they'll drop a tongue of dog as well, just like um, some of the normal wolves. And there's also a chance that they'll drop the um, these little hellhound heads, which is pretty cool. So that's a new item as well in the werewolf update. Uh, the next thing I want to show you guys, so this is something that I sort of covered a little bit. I didn't get too much into it uh, in the, at the end of Attack of the B Team, because uh, I was like the evil witch. But if you are on a server, you know, and you want to hunt a witch, you can make witch hunting armor. But now in the werewolf update, they've actually added silvered armor. So um, basically what this does is it gives you additional protection against werewolves. So your set bonus for the whole set of armor is uh, protection from curses. Um, you, it enables uh, you know you to have draining bolts and you cannot use poppets if you're wearing this set of armor. So that's like the only, that's like the downside obviously. But if you make your armor silvered, then you now have werewolf protection. So I'm gonna show you guys how to craft this. So like a normal hat, a normal um, you know witch hunter hat, you're gonna get make this stuff nullified leather. And that's basically gonna make a null catalyst, make some leather. Null catalyst is obviously pretty complicated to make here. Um, it can be cloned, but at first it's gonna take another star, a diamond, and a bunch of magma cream, and then you can just clone it. So for every one null catalyst, you're gonna get magma cream like that, and you're gonna get an output of two. So um, let me show you guys this. So you make the nullified leather, you're gonna make a witch hunter hat. Now, if you wanna make that version of your armor silvered level, um, you're going to take some string, uh, four pieces of silver deposits, which I'll show you guys in a minute how to obtain, and then three uh, wolf's bane, and that is going to give you a silvered version of your witch hunter hat. So silver is sort of the theme here. It is the weakness of werewolves, um, and the same thing goes for like the coats um, and the uh, trousers and um, the uh, the shoes as well. So you're gonna take the witch hunter boots and you're gonna make them silver. So actually silver, these ones look a little bit lighter, so that's kind of cool. Um, but that's how you make some new armor uh, that was out in this update. So then the next thing I wanna show you guys is the actual silver stuff. So silver is like a new resource or new material in the uh, in this update, and um, it can be used to be to create a couple different things. Obviously you can use to craft um, you know the silvered armor, but you can also make silver bolts and also a silver sword. And that is going to do uh, four attack damage. So it's basically the same attack damage as a um, as a golden sword, but it does two times unblockable damage against werewolves. So even if they're blocking, if, if you're doing PVP and they're werewolf and they're blocking, um, this still do two times the damage, through, like it'll go through the block. So that's really, really cool. Um, it's a nice perk to have if, if you're gonna be fighting a werewolf or something like that. So to make the silver bolts, it's you just take a wooden bolt, which is created with string, sticks, and a feather. Um, and you can take three of those and put one silver deposit on top, and you're gonna get three silver bolts out of that. And a silver sword is basically just a golden sword surrounded with silver deposits. So there you go. Now, in order to obtain silver, this is the really cool part, you're gonna need to make a silver vat. And a silver vat is made with iron ingots, a bucket of water, some more ingots, and a furnace. Now what this does is it allows you to basically sort of like rig up this little contraption over here to these uh, to these furnaces, okay? So I'll show you guys just like how it works. And you place one down and then you put one down beside it. You can put them anywhere, um, but it's got these little deposits that stick out the side. So like this isn't the structure that gets placed. It's just basically just what I made. So I did two furnaces and then, you know, connected them or whatever. So what this does is um, I have here some gold ore. Now all you have to do is put the gold ore into the furnace and here, let me do this. Uh, you just start cooking it up. Now there's a there's a percent chance, I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a percent chance that on smelting of the gold, some silver will be extracted and you're gonna get this silver deposit. Now I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. Oh, I think right here. I think right there, yes. So it'll be a little dot at the bottom of the basin like this. 
And that's basically how you obtain um, your silver deposit. So you go out, you mine your gold, you come back and you know you get a contraption like this. And um, I'm assuming that something like this with the three uh, silver vats next uh, next to it are gonna maximize, potentially maximize your output of getting silver uh, deposits. I'm not 100% sure, but it was the photo that was on the website. So there we go, we got a little bit more there, right here. Um, now I wonder, I can't place them there. I was gonna say, I wonder what it'll look like if it was full, like if it filled up. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of let that run and see what happens. But you'll still get your gold out of that, obviously. But that's how you, you get your silver deposits there. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys something else. So over here, we have a couple new things. This is a bear trap. Um, this is basically uh, just a way to sort of trap a beast um, and immobilize them for a little while. Um, we got iron ingots, um, a weighted pressure plate, some shears, and that's going to be a bear trap. I couldn't find anything on the website about a wolf trap. But it was in the um, it was in the mod, and there was a crafting recipe for it. So we've got silver deposits here. You put uh, it's basically a modified bear trap. So you make your bear trap, then you put the bear trap in here. Wolf Spain, no catalyst, and that's going to give you a wolf trap. I'm assuming it'll probably like do more damage to a wolf or something like that. And last but not least, we have a wolf altar. All right, so this is you're going to need these heads that drop from wolves and um, hellhounds and stone and wolf Spain. Now this wolf altar. I'm a little bit confused on it still, uh, but basically what happens is uh, when you become a werewolf, you can craft one of these wolf altars and um, uh, essentially you communicate with the deity that's like responsible for lycanthropy, right? Uh, in terms of like the lore and the story. And um, basically this gives you quests to do. Um, and when you do those quests, it helps you level up in your werewolf uh, abilities. So I'm gonna show you guys some how to do that now. So uh, what we first need to do is, uh, let's see here, let me see here. We need to locate uh, in your um, Circle Magic book, the Curse of the Wolf um, book. Gosh, this is making me wanna play, uh, <laughs> this is making me wanna play Witcher again. This mod is so much fun. Um, so in the book, we have Curse of the Wolf, perform under a full moon with a full coven. So I went to the extreme of as you can see here, uh, having six witches in my coven. So right here, six witches in the coven. That's the max you can get. Um, so I, I do have a full coven. What we do need is the 11 by 11 um, uh, circle magic. Let's see here. So it's gonna be the medium sized infernal circle. So let me come over here. Uh, also, he's added a, a lot of awesome stuff for creative mode. This thing right here is a, um, here, let me see. This guy is an infinity egg, and it basically just gives you the total amount of power and just insane power regeneration. So you're always gonna stay capped, because look, if you notice, this um, altar power for this ritual takes 10,000, which normally would be probably pretty hard to achieve. You're gonna have to get like a dragon's egg and do like a bunch of crazy stuff um, in order to obtain that. But thankfully, uh, he's making life easy on me in creative mode, so this is perfect. All right, so then we're gonna need uh, the tag lock kit, which I have here of me, of Chimney Swift, and we are going to need Exhale of the Horn one. So let me get the this stuff. Um, so we're going to get Exhale of the Horned one. We are going to get uh, a Hellhound head. So that is important. Uh, whoops. Let's do this. Uh, we also need a Wolfsbane, a Diamond, and a Brew of Grotesque. So Wolfsbane. Uh, whoops. Let's see here. Uh, we need a diamond. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This is really fun. And the brew of gro. Oh, hold on. Brew of the grotesque. Let's see here. Yeah, right here. Brew of the grotesque. All right. So this is going to allow us to basically make ourselves um, cursed with a werewolf. All right, or with lycanthropy, I should say. All right. I think you can also get it in the game. Um, from being scratched by a werewolf and having uh, damage done significantly to you. Um, let me see here. Let me read this to you guys. Uh, a werewolf, also known as a lycanthrope, is a mythological or folkloric human with the ability to shapeshift into a wolf or a uh, therianthropic hybrid wolf-like creature, uh, either purpose purposely or after being placed under a curse or affliction, um, the affliction being from a bite or scratch from another werewolf. A coven of witches may perform the uh, curse of the wolf to inflict lycanthropy on a player or villager. Alternatively, if a transformed werewolf that has been granted the ability to spread the curse sufficiently damages, but does not kill a victim, the curse may spread to them. So if you're playing on a server and you, and you have reached max level in your werewolf skill line, 
you can spread it to other players, which is really cool. Um, it has been reported that appeals to the deity associated with this curse may be rewarded with a way to obtain this curse. So like that's basically referring to the, um, the altar over here that I was showing you guys. Let me show you right here. Whoops. Um, right here, or the, the wolf altar, all right? So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to inflict ourselves with, um, we're going to curse ourselves, okay? I think, I'm hoping this is gonna work. I haven't done this yet. I wanted to save it for the video. So let's do this. Let's throw our tag lock in there. Exhale the horn one, the head, wolf spain, a diamond, and brew of grotesque. And we're gonna use our co our coven to do this. Um, I'm gonna stand in, in the middle. We'll go to, we'll go to like third person so we can watch what happens here. So all of our coven is here. Caroline Rain and Joska Scar. Jocasta Scar, how do you pronounce that? Your sense of smell seems a little stronger. And as you can see, haha, we are now in wolf form. So there are two forms. Um, you can hear the howling there. There are two forms in this mod, all right? So there is wolf form and then there is werewolf form. So wolf form, all right? Uh, the curse can progress through many stages as a werewolf develops in power, but to begin with each night of a full moon, the player will forcefully, forcefully, um, will be forcefully transformed into wolf form, which is what you see right now. I'm just looking like a wolf, that's it. Um, when day comes around, they will revert to their human form. The following changes will occur when transformed into a wolf. So here's what's gonna happen to us and what we get when we um, are in just wolf form, okay? So you're shrunk to below one block in height. So as you can see here, I'm very, very short. I got my little paw right here. I'm vicious, ready to kill. Um, but I'm really small. You can see I, I'm, I'm like really, really low to the ground, okay? You have the wolf player model, obviously, as you can see here. You cannot wear armor. Um, so you can't wear, uh, let's see, does it take it away? No. But you can't wear armor when in wolf form. Uh, you have much faster movement speed. I really, really fast, okay? So that's really, really awesome. Um, you can slightly jump better and leap. So you can you can see here, like there's a, this long leap. And standing still, you can jump quite a bit higher than normal. Um, increased step height, no need to jump to ascend one block. So watch this, you can run, like just like a horse, you can run straight over these, um, these mounds right here, which is awesome. You don't have to jump over them, so that allows you to just go on the hunt, you know, and go and hunt stuff, really, really, really fun. Um, you also have night vision, as you probably noticed. Uh, we've got night vision and the sky looks really cool. So we've got night vision so you can see better at nighttime. Uh, immunity to poison and disease. Um, so you're, you're overall, then you're overall tougher as well. Um, that's another bullet point. Also says you're resistant to physical and magical damage. So you'll mitigate a little bit of damage from that. And you are weak to silver attacks. You're gonna take double damage and um, your werewolf resistance is negated. So silver cuts straight to the heart, baby. It is crazy. It's gonna do a ton of damage. Now, uh, when it becomes daytime, let me show you guys this really quick. When it becomes daytime, we're gonna go transform back to uh, normal people mode. So that's pretty cool. Um, sorry, I was checking how, how long this is going. So, all right, um, the next thing I wanna show you guys really quick, uh, cause this video is running pretty long, is a developing werewolf abilities. So if you wanna become an actual werewolf, um, you need to go through levels, okay? And those levels are gonna be obtained by doing quests for your, uh, with the altar. So if I grab this altar right here and I put this down, let me show you guys this. So this is the altar, it looks really freaking cool. You right click on it and it says, three ingots of gold, give them to me. Well actually, this is kind of awesome because I have gold right here. So this is gonna be perfect. Um, how are we doing on like silver? Oh that, okay, just, it looks like little deposits, but that's actually like, the first stack I got was like seven. So look how much we got from that, that's crazy. All right, so he wants three ingots of gold. So let's give it to the man. He is my, uh, my pack leader after all. So here we go. Woo, gold is given, a charm is made. Let the beast within be freed and the moon uh, have no sway. All right, so we just obtained a moon charm. Now I gotta look this up because I can't remember. Uh, let's see here. The moon charm, aha, here we go. So a moon charm is an item that is gifted to werewolves via a wolf altar. When a player has achieved werewolf level two, which I think we are right now, a moon charm is in a player's inventory. Oh, sorry, when a uh, player has achieved werewolf level two and a moon charm is in a player's inventory, they will not be forced into wolf form during a full moon, nor to human form at other times. So it's basically like if you don't want to be a werewolf at night, make sure you get yourself one of these moon charms, okay? Because basically that's gonna allow you then, in your, if you're level two and you're carrying this in your inventory, it will allow you to not change into wolf form, okay? Helps 
See, it says helps Lycanthropes force a transformation because it can do that as well. If you want to transform, it'll help you do that also. Um, a second level werewolf that uh, using a moon charm for a few seconds, right click, uh, holding right click, will transform into wolf form. So if you do this and then you let go, I think it'll transform you into wolf form. It probably has to be nighttime, but you basically can draw it back like a bow and, and use it that way. Um, let's see, you transform to wolf form and back when used from wolf form. A fifth level werewolf that uses the moon charm while sneaking, shift right click, will transform to wolf man form and back to human while sneak used from wolf man form. And uh, while under the effects of a wolf bane po wolf's bane potion, transformation will not be possible, all right? So it's kind of like Harry Potter with uh, the wolf's bane potion in Harry Potter. It sort of like helps uh, werewolves cope with their affliction, you know what I mean? Um, if a moon charm is lost or destroyed, a new one can be acquired by using a wolf altar while holding three gold ingots. So there we go. All right, so back to uh, lycanthropy, okay? So I'll link this page um, if you guys wanna check it out down below, but there's basically different levels of werewolves that you can, werewolf abilities that you can go through. And I don't have time to talk about the, all of them, but I really would like to get to level five. So there is an item in this game that will allow me to, uh, to cheat, okay? It's called the creative wolf token. And I'm gonna grab one of these and we're gonna do this. The werewolf level set to three, four, and five. Now you can go all the way up to level 10. Level 10, basically the ability you get at level 10 is causing almost fatal damage while in Wolfman or Wolf Forms can now spread the curse to play, uh, curse to players or villagers. So you keep questing through the um, the wolf, uh, the werewolf quest line here with this um, wolf altar, and you'll you'll basically you'll basically increase in level like what you just saw happen to me. Although I'm doing it the cheating way in creative mode, but for all intents and purposes, I am now a werewolf level five. So. Let's do, let's do this, and I think we might transform. Now, let me go ahead and uh, hold that full moon. Let's see if I can pull this off. Let me see, maybe I just hold it. It's a ding. Aha, okay, so that put me into wolf form. How do I go into werewolf form? Okay, so that pulls you in and out of wolf form. All right, so the moon, really handy. Pull it back, just keep holding, holding, holding. Boom, like that, okay? I wanted to go into werewolf or, or wolfman farm. Oh, I have to do sneaking. So you actually at level five, you get the choice on whether or not which form you wanna be in. Um, because there's different things that you get for each one, I think. Uh, yes, there are. So if I shift and right click, let's see what happens here. Aha, there we go. Now I am in uh, wolfman form, all right? So check this out. We, we are just this sick, insane were beast wrecking first i'm in creative mode so they're not gonna fight back but this is freaking awesome so i'm running around as a werewolf uh, as you can see i'm normal height now and if i wanted to transform back i think i just hold this do this oh no that put me in a wolf form so you gotta uh you gotta shift right click and hold that thing um but it's toggleable which is awesome so let me lastly i'll leave this video off here i'm gonna go into um uh, werewolf form again I'm going to list you guys the benefits of wear of Wolfman form. So you get the Wolfman model. You cannot wear armor. Uh, you will drop a uh, held object. Um, will you? Drop a held yes, you will drop a held object. So you can't attack stuff. You can't like hit stuff with swords. You got to use your claws. That's the whole, that's what werewolves do. They use their claws and they scratch and they bite and they're, you know, they're just crazy. So you can't hold stuff. That's why I dropped that bone there. You have slightly faster movement speed. You jump a uh, much higher jump and a leap. You get increased step height, same as the, the wolf. You can go over one block. Night vision, immunity to poison and disease. You are much tougher. Um, and so this one is different from just wolf form. You have significant damage increase and significant health increase. Um, you're resistant to physical and magical damage and you're weak to silver attacks. So guys, I've got to get going because this video is way too long. Um, being 60 FPS in a Minecraft video, it is gonna take forever, absolutely forever, to uh, render, so um, that was kind of a cool feature there, how I killed that guy and he poofed red. Probably something I didn't know about. Maybe blood, I don't really know. Really, really cool. But uh, if you guys wanna check out the Witchery mod for yourself, uh, link is down below, hoping that I can get this video out tonight and that it won't take too long to upload because I know this file is gonna be huge being that it is 60 frames a second. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really did. Um, I would love to continue to cover the updates of the Witchery mod. It's just like, it is my favorite mod in Minecraft and it's so well done. Um, and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys again next time. Peace.
there's gonna be something. And if not, I at least want to kill a zombie. Like, you can beat him with these the stick. I did it earlier. You can do it. I know you can do it. And then I went AFK and they killed me. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Be on the lookout, everyone. Be on the lookout for buildings. 